All right, guys, we're going to orient you as to the neuroimmunologic uh, conditions. We touched them briefly in the um, uh, global orientation to the uh, art of neurology, and now we're going to focus on them just a little bit more. Again, this is just a taste of the um, neuroimmunologic um, uh, section. When we talk about the neuroimmunologic um, issues, uh, disorders, what we are describing um, are the uh, demyelinating conditions and those that are uh, what we call vasculitides. The demyelinating conditions, um, they tend to, the most common one is multiple sclerosis. It involves the white matter of the brain. And we tend to see this more in uh, women of childbearing age and even younger sometimes. Uh, they occur in men also, um, demyelinating conditions such as multiple sclerosis. We're going to deal with that in some detail. Um, again, it's the white matter. Um, people tend to have uh, weakness a lot, um, problems with vision. Uh, we're going to deal with that, optic neuritis uh, with multiple sclerosis. So we'll deal with that. We're talking about the white matter um, now of the brain and the subcortex, okay? We just talked about the basal ganglia when we were talking about movement disorders, but now we're um, talking more specifically with uh, about white matter uh, and demyelinating. Myelin is white. We're going to be dealing with those. Um, there's a condition called acute disseminating encephalomyelitis. We tend to see it um, and, uh, in pediatrics uh, primarily, uh, and it's a good thing. It uh, many times comes and goes um, uh, without leaving a trace of condition uh, or um, disability, so acute disseminating encephalomyelitis. Many times we see that after an infection or um, around the time of, uh, of a child having had a, an infection. Uh, they can be unsteady on their feet and falling all over the place all of a sudden uh, for reasons that seem unclear. There's a condition that we used to call the Dick syndrome or um, neuromyelitis, uh, another condition, uh, a condition, neuromyelitis uh, optica, um, whereas um, um, a patient has optic neuritis, um, combined with um, a spinal cord problem, transverse myelitis, so optic neuritis and uh, transverse myelitis, um, neuromyelitis optica. Um, we're going to deal with that and, um, and the other. Um, we'll, we'll then go on to talk about the vasculitides, um, like um, um, periarteritis nodosa, and we'll talk about uh, giant cell uh, arteritis. Um, temporal arteritis, uh, also known as. Uh, we tend to see uh, more of all of this uh, when we think about it um, in women of varying ages. Um, we see giant cell arteritis um, more when um, people are over uh, 50. I've never seen it under 50. Um, we tend to get headaches, um, uh, headaches that are annoying and in the temporal region and you can get a low grade temp temperature. Uh, it's difficult to eat your food and enjoy anything. Um, so we'll talk about all of these as we dig deeper into the art of neurology. Uh, hang in there, we're moving forward, and uh, keep winning.